not getting out of that vehicle. You know, he could back up. He could do some dramatic moves right here. But with all those officers and those weapons out right now, that probably would not be a good a good move at all. Those when those reverse lights come on, and if that car makes a, a lunging uh, drive towards those officers, this would end t poorly. I would venture to say. Right now, though, this car just standing there. Don't know if they know somebody in there, but it definitely looked like this was a target. Like he mm -hmm. drove into this neighborhood looking for this driveway and then pulled up that gate still closed wonder what would happen if that gate opens up if he would try to drive in you got uh, other civilians not knowing exactly what's going on and a little dog in the road oh. i always worry when that happens but right now you can see they're still uh, very aggressively trying to get that driver out of that vehicle did see a little bit of movement even though it was super dark tent right there just for a second but uh, right now it's more of a standoff than a pursuit these officers from bell garden behind that vehicle there's an armed and dangerous suspect inside original want uh, basically as we understand it that uh, bell gardens got behind the car ran the plate understood who was inside that car waited till they got back up turned on their lights and sirens and then the pursuit was on and brought Armed and dangerous suspect inside. Original want, uh, basically, as we understand it, that uh, Bell Gardens got behind the car, ran the plate, understood who was inside that car, waited till they got back up, turned on their lights and sirens, and then the pursuit was on and brought him here. And interesting, you, you say that Bell Gardens police did not want help from the CHP when this pursuit was, in fact, on the freeway and it was a high speed chase at a certain point. But now, obviously, as you mentioned, it is a standoff right there in that residential neighborhood in Bell Gardens. And this is such a scary situation when you're a resident in that neighborhood not knowing what's happening and for law enforcement officials having to be so careful not to open fire because of yes. the unintended consequences that could happen in a situation like this. Definitely, and you just got to kind of wonder if the, the folks in this neighborhood, they probably see the, the PD helicopter, that sheriff's helicopter circling low down there and keeping an eye on what's going on. These officers basically shouting out commands right now, and that suspect, not not nothing at all. Those windows are up. There is no activity inside that car at all. And again, this vehicle not disabled, so this could turn into a pursuit once again. Right now, though, that driver of that vehicle, he's waiting. I'm not sure what for, but these officers, they want to take that person into custody, a very dangerous person behind that wheel. And absolutely, a lot of people, when they follow pursuits, obviously tune into what's going to happen and wonder, why can't they just approach or disable the car? It's not so easy, despite the fact that you do have multiple units right there surrounding or actually in back of that vehicle right now that looks trapped because of that gate. But clearly, it's not so cut and dry all the time. They have to think about the approach, think about who's inside that car. Oh. And the suspect opening up the window threw something out, it Open, looked like? Oh. Open the window, through the keys out. That's what those officers are always, uh, mostly, that's what they want to see. They want to know that that vehicle is unable to move. So they probably were telling them, open that window, throw the keys out. We, and we're, I'm venturing to say that that's what it was. Hopefully it wasn't something else other than that. Hands are clearly being shown right now. Windows are down. And that suspect seems to be complying as this is coming to an end, hopefully peacefully. Uh, again, that driver not out of that vehicle yet. But Bell Gardens PD out here in force this afternoon. Afternoon, and you can see this is in the Bell Garden. Oh, we are in the Bell Gardens area. So he came, basically made his way back over to this area. He was out of here and then came back here. But right now, the window down, that suspect not exactly complying, but uh, it, that, at least that was a positive move that mm -hmm. uh, he showed, showed his hands and apparently threw the keys of that vehicle out, uh, out of the car. And as we watch this come to a end, hopefully, without any injuries, he has his hands on the steering wheel right there, listening to officers. Oh, Cell now phone. he's on the phone. But you were over yeah. this before we broke in, and obviously the suspect driving on the freeway with this pursuit. Any damage to other vehicles or any accidents? We didn't see any accidents a a at all. We saw no collisions. There's a little bit of damage to the front of that uh, Impala, but we did see some, eh, let's just call them dramatic moves on the 710 earlier on. He basically moved for all the way from the number one lane all the way over to the right shoulder and then was passing some big rigs as he was making his way to get off the freeway. Uh, but Bell Gardens PD, they were being safe no. the entire time. Going to be a little bit cautious right here just because of the want and the warrant for that suspect. You can see the 
these officers. I don't see a, a, a non-lethal in any of these officers' hands, so they are uh, ready for anything right now, but it does seem like that suspect complying uh, with Bell Gardens PD, hands out, and he seems to be doing exactly what the officers are asking him to do. All right, this looks like this will be a peaceful resolution to this pursuit that started at around 11.33 this morning. So clearly this is what you want to see, right? A suspect yes, so listening to law enforcement officials and then getting into custody. But clearly a scary situation for so many drivers on that 710 freeway when the suspect was driving at a high rate of speed erratically and then coming into a residential neighborhood here in Bell Gardens as well. Such a scary situation for everyone in the neighborhood. Definitely, and you know, these we haven't seen anybody make their way out of their homes out here since we put, since we arrived. There are a couple. Oh, they already have crime tape up. So these officers very proactive out here, basically maybe even holding people back from this area. Uh, it appears to be uh, you can clearly see that one officer not in a uniform. So I would venture to say a detective. Maybe that was the person that uh, the 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 <laughs> the detective that might have wanted to talk to that suspect. But you can clearly see nobody's putting their weapons down. Their guns are still out, and this suspect definitely complying. But you've got other officers over here keeping an eye on that vehicle. Now, we never did hear if there was one person or two persons in that car. Right now, we know the driver is out and being taken into custody. But, of course, there's that possibility there might be a second person in that car. Absolutely, and that is what law enforcement officials are trained to do. This is the procedure here. Anytime this type of thing happens, they do have to clear the vehicle, and more than... In one occasion, recently, in recent memories, we do know that there was, in fact, somebody, perhaps a passenger, perhaps some innocent bystander in the vehicle as well when we cover these high-speed uh, chases. So clearly, this is a factor in terms of law enforcement officials still pointing their weapons at that car. Still pouring the weapons at the car. We're trying to take a peek in to see if we see any activity at all. Very, very dark tint on that vehicle. That's what the officers don't want to see either. But right now, it seems to be a little bit more of just precaution other than knowing that somebody else is in that car. That driver being already being frisked, probably going to be placed in the vehicle. By that time, they're going to make their approach. But again, this uh, armed and dangerous suspect and, uh, and no bail warrant. So this person definitely was somebody law enforcement wanted to talk to. And Bell Gardens PD, they got that car and they ran that plate. They figured out who was behind the wheel and that pursuit was on. But it lasted probably, I would say, probably 10 minutes, maybe a little bit more. Here we go, mm -hmm. the officers making their approach right now. And you can see them, weapons out. They're not playing around out here. But I would venture to say, I hope to say, there is nobody inside that vehicle. Yeah, you never know in these situations. And far too many times we've reported that officers are not met with the kind of a situation that we're hoping for, right? An entirely clear car, but this is the procedure right now. They're clearing that car. They're definitely going to search the vehicle later, but it does look like by their stance that the vehicle is all clear. That's right. It's all coming to an end out here. This pursuit ending peacefully, one suspect in custody, and hopefully there was no damage. Like I said, Sandra, there's a little bit of damage on the front of that car. We didn't hear of any collisions, but hopefully, and hopefully there wasn't. Again, coming to a peaceful end out here in this Bell Gardens neighborhood. And that's how we